at any five gamers. I almost went through the chair. Today, we're gonna be watching some Spectate the Pros matches, because I know you guys uh, like checking out Spectate the Pros. I also do as well. Uh, let's not waste any time. Let's do our stupid little rolls here and get right into uh, Spectate the Pros. Hopefully, we get to watch some awesome matches today. Oh, I've been getting mid from the ranked treasures, bro. Oh my gosh, all I've been getting is mid recently. Come on, give me something cool, something I care about. Ah, I guess I'll have to wait for something good. <laughs> All right, let's get into the matches. All right, for the first match, we're going to watching Smiley Face here, going up against Journalist, Postman, Batter, and Cheerleader. Now, I'm actually quite excited to watch this match because I actually have been playing Clown recently, and my Clown uh, was running, um, oh, what was it? I think it was Confined Space and Insolence. So I wasn't running Detention, and I was also using Listen, and for some reason, this is only a quick match, so I didn't rank or anything, but in quick matches, I was getting like ties, like without that much effort. Like I was just playing around, trying to get points yesterday, uh, the weekly points. And like, I was doing fine. And I think the reason is nobody knows how to counterplay the dash. Like Smiley, dude, people just don't know what to do about the dash, which is like kind of crazy. And the thing is, I'm not even that good at the dash. So imagine like if I mastered the dash, where do I be then? Honestly, just hit Doofy here, just hit Doofy. I, I've started to learn that sometimes it's better to just hit Doofy sometimes. If you just hit the Doofy, he'll just go away and then the kite will last less time. Because the Doofy's like pretty decently active. But if you get rid of him, yeah, she can transition. But if you have dash, you can just catch up immediately. Especially on a map like this. Oh, but she reduced the cooldowns with the cheerleader. All right, what you do here, yeah, you just dash, kill Doofy with dash, and then just hit her. Yep, kill Doofy with dash, and then you can just walk up and kill her. Yep, cheerleader still got the support, but here's the thing. Oh, blink though? Oh, beautiful blink. She shouldn't have flat. Oh, she has cheerleader speed, though. Yep. But now she's slow. She's got this pallet. Walk around the dash. This should be it. Nope. Okay, not quite. Not quite. Come on, Smiley. Get it down. Get it down, Smiley. Honestly, just hit cheerleader. Just hit cheerleader. Yeah, there you go. Just hit cheerleader. The thing is that you don't want her to stack up. Uh, you don't want her to... All right, then. Um... <laughs> All right, well, uh, cheerleader, um, unfortunate for Lily, I guess. Oh, rescues with Doofius for some reason. Um, that's a little weird. There was no reason to rescue with Doofius there that early, especially. Um, all right, well, now, now I guess we just sit here and he can just free equip his stuff. Uh, no, cheerleader should just be dying off in a corner. No, I don't know why she's right there. She should go to the corner and die off or something. Um, now he can hit the journalist. Oh, somehow, uh, hits the chair side. That was actually a good, uh, good play from the journalist there. But does indeed get hit through the window. Uh, but why? Well, the thing is, why that was bad, what the cheerleader was doing was that she was just not on a cypher that whole time. Journalist gets chair, but we do see that the postman heals up the cheerleader, so we got some postman support, but yeah. Cheerleader dash versus smiley dash. Um, it could be kind of crazy. So postman's gonna get this rescue here a little early. They keep rushing pretty early. This is honestly probably the smiley's game. Because the thing is, the only one who is supporting right now, or uh, sorry, decoding right now, is the batter. And Batter does not have good decoding. So, yeah, if Smiley plays his cards right, which he's doing well so far, this should just be a, a 4K. So Cheerleader's dead on chair. Put her on that chair. And then there's no way Jones is going to self-heal in time, especially if uh, he equipped the uh, the stupid whatever it's called that reduces healing by, like, two times. Um, nope, going to still go after the Postman. Oh. Oh, that was... Okay, he didn't equip any dashes there, I don't think, so... Uh, I don't I don't think it got interrupted. Yeah, it didn't get inter interrupted by the flywheel there. So he actually just wasted his flywheel um, No, don't do this wait hold on never mind. Maybe he's cooking Drops the journalist. Okay uh, I can't even tell if his was his speed actually reduced there. Oh, it definitely was whoa That was almost huge brain. Did I swear wick? I swear dude that dog is clutch I will not lie, that dog is freaking clutch, dude. I can't count on my- I can count- I can- I, sorry, I can't even count on my fingers how many times Wick has slowed me down and has, like, actually prevented, like, rescues, uh, prevented downs. Like, it's insane, dude. Like, the, the amount of- reduce, I forget how much it reduces the hunter's speed, but it's only for five seconds, but, like, those five seconds matter. Um, so Cheerleader is now dead, and they're all over here. Yeah, this is bad. This is really bad. Because the thing is, nobody's on a Cypher. What needs to happen here is Postman needs to get on a Cypher and Batter needs to support this whole time. If Batter can... Oh, that's one ball gone. Okay. He's got two balls left. He's now in rage mode. 
Let's see. Gonna go after the batter. Oh, batter takes a hit. Nope, that's really bad. That's really bad. Smiley's cooking. Look out, look out, look out. Oh, didn't even swing. Oh, no. He did. He did. I didn't even... He just missed his ball straight up. He actually just missed his ball. Welp. That sucks. And yeah, okay, yeah, there it is. I didn't even I didn't even see it come out. I thought he just like turned around and gave up. And yeah, it's it's so over. No, it's 4K. Yeah, break that ball. So I only have this one ball left to work with. And journalist already used up the uh the rescue Orphe, so she cannot um rescue safely. Nobody's on a cipher. They're both threatening the rescue, but like there's no point. It's it's over. The match is over. What you do here is 100 percent sell. Do not do what the journalists and the postmen are doing here. Um Okay. Uh, oh, I guess they did. What? No. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. So what? What you should have done there, uh, as a survivor, is you 100% sell and then you like walk to a safe area and reset. Once you have the opportunity to reset, you could potentially get somebody to dungeon, right? Because like the the place where you were, um, it just it was wasn't possible. You're not you're not gonna finish two ciphers, um, at once somebody rebound kites, especially in this area when a lot of the paths have a. Uh, gone away like that that's just that's way too much to ask for yep batter just goes down had no balls to work with he just goes for postman and that's gg that was a good game though that was a freaking good game uh early rescues um was a bit too much yeah they're, 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 just, they're just lots of little plays the survivor shouldn't have done but i definitely think like they should have sold off one of their uh teammates instead of uh constantly going in for rescues when they weren't even decoding at all so yeah Good game to the smiley though. For the next match, let's watch this cowboy here. In champion rank is gonna be interesting. Now, I believe, I don't know if this is 100% accurate. I can't, I don't know if the name is exactly the same, but there is somebody who pops in my streams named Father Milk and they like playing forward and harassing me and making me suffer. <laughs> um, and I believe they are like like on a hardcore Koa team. So I, I'm not entirely sure if, uh, if this is the same one. But they're going up against a Night Watch here. Uh, we've got Prospector, Barmaid, Magician, and of course uh, the Cowboy that we uh, clicked on here. But let's see, let's see what all Ithaca can cook up here. Let's see what he's going for today. What build is he running? Um, my, the current my, my current Night Watch build is uh, is confined space, detention, and teleport because I feel like Blink is just not the way, right? It, it doesn't it doesn't really let me be as aggressive as I want to because my playstyle with Nightwatch is just stupidly aggressive where I'm constantly switching targets and whatnot. Um, so I, what I what I like to do is I like to share it, leave the cipher, and then when I, I look at all the ciphers, see which way somebody is coming from, try to um, stuff the rescue that way. And if I see somebody hop off in the cipher, then I just go to teleport. Um, I'm still pretty bad. At, okay, he actually does bring Blink though. See, the good thing about Blink is that you secure your down really, really fast, right? It's like 60 seconds, pretty much. If you can get one hit within 60 seconds, you guarantee a down. Um, the thing is, usually Blink is only used like one time per match, and then it just secures your first down. And by that point, like, the Cyphers are almost at, like, uh, almost ready. So he is actually getting aggressive here, leaving the chair, as you should. Uh, but he has no traits, and... Yeah, I mean, going up to getting the lawyer down would actually be really, really good. Um, I think by the time they actually get to the, I'm sorry, that's magician. I'm stupid, dude. I don't. I, I, he has this. He has a similar skin to the lawyer. Okay, gonna head back to the barmaid, but she is being rescued after half, so that's really good. Um, and he sees the prospector. Yep. Actually, everybody's off a cipher now. Well, I guess they all finished their ciphers, so yeah. Um. I, I think Barmaid is just done -zo. She she ha she already used up her drink. She can't mix. Uh, yeah, she used her speed drink too. It's just done -zo. There is There is a double rescue though. Hold on. There is a double rescue potential prospector support. Oh no! The flop! Wait, they actually, wait, somehow they got that. What? Um, well, Barmaid does go down. Prospector's gonna have to harass here. Let's see. Pick up, drop. She, he dropped, he dropped, he dropped, yep. Do it again, he only has one more magnet. Let's see. Yup, can he do it in time? Drops. Oh, but the cowboy though, wait, the cowboy. Oh my gosh, the cowboy, hold on. No way, dude. I can't believe it. Yep, he's extending it, but the thing is like, what can you really do here? You just keep walking in a straight line all the way over here. Are you just gonna put her, yeah, put him down over here, run away. 
And the thing is, do you lasso again? No, he lassos there, just to escape the night watch. Yep. All right, so he, he extended the chair a while. He extended the chair a while, that's for sure. But Barmaid is indeed... De huh? Oh, wait. Huh? Oh, it was... Okay, it was still cowboy stuff. Okay, cowboy was still threatening it. I see. Well, Barmaid does indeed get back up. Oh, thanks to the cowboy. Hold on now. Dude, the thing is, like... This is why I think Cowboy is actually good, because again, you extend the chair, you put it, you put her in the corner, and okay, that was actually just a mistake from the barmaid there. But Cowboy is still here. He still has he can he can lasso one more time. Can he one tap here? Can he one tap? One tap, one tap, one tap, now, 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 now. Oh. Alright. One tap now, one tap now. Boom. Yep, yeah, there it is. Yep. Beautiful one tap from the cowboy. And yep, he's just gonna go off into the corner once again. And Cowboy's dead here. Cowboy is dead, but he's in the corner. And he's wasting so much time here. Now, what, what happens here is the prospector. Yeah, the prospector is here, but he can walk around the magnet because he threw it too early. And yeah, Barmaid's dead. All right, well, that's just unfortunate. Um, the prospector should. Uh, if he hit that magnet, there was a chance, right? If he hit that magnet, there was a chance. I'm going to pick up the magnet here. Yep. He doesn't want to have to deal with that, especially for the. Uh... Oh, still has the magnet, though. Um, you could have just walked around. Oh, no way. No way it's gonna work from that far away, right? Uh-oh. It did! But he dropped, he dropped. Good. It'll work from the Night Watch, okay. This is looking like a tied game. Oh my gosh, this- <laughs> Dude, the, the magnets, what? What are we doing? Um... Why aren't we just going- I mean, I guess like, he was gonna struggle for you anyway, but still. What the? Okay, that was weird. Uh, I don't know what the... I don't know what the magician cipher is at. He hasn't been pinging for a while. Is it primed? It is. Okay, there's the pop. Alright, um, depending on what happens here, this could be... Uh, it depends. Because no one's on a gate, right? So if he... Oh, a cowboy stun. That's gonna last a while. Yeah, look at how, look how long that lasts, dude. This is why I don't like fighting cowboy. Oh, that's why I don't like fighting cowboy, dude. He has nothing to work with except for this pout, though. He has blink, but if he uses blink, he accepts the tie right here. Come on. Can we get a three escape? No. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, he just blinks. He accepts the tie. Yeah, he's like, he's so done. He's so done. He just accepted the tie right there. The thing is, if you got the cowboy like down immediately, you could have teleported and then maybe get another down. But yeah, he, he just accepted the tie there. Um, and now he has no teleport to work with. And I'm pretty sure the prospector is at the gate. He can just leave. He should just leave. Don't flop now, prospector. Come on. Don't be the flop of going. What are you doing? You escape here every time. You open up the gate. He knows you can come... No, bro. I think he just threw. Did he just throw? No way. He's... I mean, he's gonna... Uh... Um... What happens here? He should have just escaped. He had a tie. The stun? The rescue? But there's no point. Flywheels? Uh, he has wind, though. You're done, -zo. But Cowboy has nothing. He has nothing to work with. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's uh, that's it. Also, I don't think he had a. Uh, I don't think he had teleport. I think he only had blink. So maybe he could, maybe he just accepted it there. He held onto his blink for a while, but. What are we doing, guys? Why are we all coming in? Um. Magician, you still have two wand. You gotta use a wand now. Flywheel wand. You have to wand lock right now. Bro, detention. Oh, there you go. No, bro! What was that? Now, okay, he does have trump card. What? Nah, these survivors got way too greedy. I mean, it doesn't have... Okay, this can still be a tie, though. This can still be a tie. What are they doing? Why do they want this so badly? Why do they want this so badly? Um... Can you guys just please accept the tie? I mean, detention is over. They healed up Prospector. But he sees both of them, right? He sees... He can just teleport now. He's gonna have teleport ready. Um... Bro. Now nah, they can... They make that. They make that. They make that. He teleports. He teleports. He teleports. Yup. Beautiful. But he can't kill. Because he has to hit the prospector. Yup. But they healed up. Alright, so it's still a tie. Norton, stop! 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 Oh my gosh. All, all of that for a tie. Why didn't they just accept the tie that they had? I don't get it. Maybe they were just too scared of teleport? But, like, Norton could have just went out the gate and the magician could have got out the gate. I don't know.
They could have just they could have just accepted the tie. I don't know what was up with that. For the next match, let's see what this Geisha can cook up here. Now, I did try playing Geisha recently, and it didn't go too well for me. I still have a lot to learn, so maybe I can learn something here. Uh, I believe her character day is actually coming up, so this might be uh, some good timing to learn some more about Geisha today. Uh, by the way, thank you for all the comments that did uh, give me some Geisha advice in that video. I do appreciate it. Uh, but we have Geisha here going up against... Is that Seer there? That looks to be the Seer, yeah. We also got Antiquarian, Perfumer, and Acrobat on the team. Already gets a hit on the Seer. That was a stupidly fast dash. See, the thing is, that's, that's what I can't do yet because I'm so like awkward with my placements of my uh, butterflies. Is that like... Look how fast that is, dude. That's insanely fast. And that's not even a full... That looks like... Okay, thing is, like, Geisha's dashes are, like, fast, but they're not, like, insanely fast. Um, see, that's that's fast. But a full presence, it's, like, stupidly fast. It's, it's, it's basically, like, a blink, teleport, whatever. All right, bro, this is a seer moment. Because now she just goes, boom, boom. Dude, this, this Geisha's scary, dude. This Geisha is freaking scary. Do you see, like, her dashes are so fast. It's like, she, she presses dash, like, the second she hits the butterfly. And that's the kind of Geishas I usually fight, and they're freaking terrifying, dude. Usually for me, I throw out the butterfly and then I dash, but like the terrifying Geishas will throw it out and then like do it at the same time. It's terrifying, dude, I swear. Gets hit on the Acrobat, and then she just dashes over there. Yep, hold on, I'll go Shneum, and that's a dead seer, yep. Bro, Geisha is actually so good. Oh my gosh, she's so good on this map. This is actually, like her, she, she reigns supreme on this map, dude. Oh? Oh, basement, I see, no. Why? I don't understand, you put them in hotel? A good kiting area? I don't understand the point, a, a triple rescue? Hold on, no way. They're actually doing this. It's flywheel, beautiful. No chair hit though? There's the chair hit. Okay, Antiquarian knows what she's doing here. Support, support, hit. Hit one, and hit two, hit three. Nope, just two hits. Okay, that's all, that's all, uh... Oh, she even has the stun reduction. As you can see in the top left. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, it didn't really matter because there were people nearby. It's Antiquarian, so Shneum. Oh, hits the wall, though. Hold on. See, you're kind of crazy. She has blink. Misses the blink! But hits him through the wall. And nobody's on a cypher. There's way too much support. They're all here! Yo, get out of here, guys. What the heck? This is like an average me match, dude, I swear. Or everybody's just here? Okay, you can leave one, you know, what you do is Antiquarian leaves. Um, bro, what is happening? Antiquarian dies. Guys, what? What is happening? Okay, it picks up, oh, picked up the wrong person. You guys need to decode. You guys need to decode, oh my gosh. Oh my, no, that, that, per, that, that acrobat, what the acrobat should be doing is leaving. Flywheel's beautiful. Do they like all have flywheel? Only the seer has tied, and he's the one who got targeted first. Wait, hold on. It kind of worked out for them, though. Perfumer's here. Uh, Antiquarian's all the way up there. Seer's getting healed. But not that. Seer, they just got to transition away. Antiquarian's ready for the... Oh, I thought she would flute jump. What is she doing? Hello? Why were you crawling? What? I don't understand. Why was she... Was she trying to, like, get healed by the perfumer? Why was she crawling, even when she fell? And they're healing over- Oh my gosh. What is this? The support is definitely gonna bite them in the back. Um, Seer does indeed get healed. He has no owl, though. He does have Tide, though. That's the good thing. He does have Tide. And I believe he's only been shared once, right? No, he's been shared twice. I'm stupid. He has not indeed- So Seer is dead on chair, but... Alright, they're finally working on a Cypher again. My goodness. And even Antiquarian's like, yo, please focus on the coding. Seer, be careful, bro. Don't get hit. Seer, get the rest of you, please. Just waste your tide at least. Waste your tide. Don't get terror shocked. Beautiful. Okay. She honestly just goes after Seer here, right? Right? Opposite. No. Oh, no. Seer has an owl. Seer has an. She hit Antiquarian, and Antiquarian missed her flywheel. So, what did she do here? Eh. What? Antiquarian, before you die, hit her. Just hit her like. Yeah, hit her. There you go. Beautiful. Just hit her. Because why not? <laughs> funny all right all right carefully carefully you see that somebody's nearby they can pallet stun you can they get it in time no nope, can't get it in time yeah i can never do that it's so it's like it's really good when you can get it but it's so hard to get because like you have to be like right next to the pallet but the hunter will wow okay that's the first pallet stun we've seen on geisha what are these survivors doing why are they like why are they emoting at her i don't get it like just play your game 
blinks. Okay, blinks for a hit, and then she's got the butterfly. Oh, no, but butterfly's gone. Um, I guess she just wanted the first hit, so... Okay, hold on now. Hold on now, the perfume you're crazy? No more palace to work with? Okay, she's dead. She's 100% dead here. Soft to teleport, she's dead. Yeah, she had, she had nothing to work with. Yep. That pallet was her last hope. That's the thing. Geisha in open area is broken, dude. There's nothing you can do. You need tight kiting. That's the only answer to Geisha. Um, but the cypher here is looking pretty good. Uh, Seer has an owl, actually. Wait. They can do this. They can definitely tie this, maybe. They, see, his thing is, Seer just comes down with an owl. Actually, he might not even need the owl. Uh, maybe for safety he can. Yeah, here comes Seer. Owl. There's the owl. Yeah, beautiful. She doesn't want to hit it. Okay, let's see. Hits the owl. Okay, it hits the owl. Um, not, It's not primed yet. Not primed yet. Let's see. Hit Seer. Hit Perfumer. Hit somebody. Goes to the Cypher. Pro they're safe. Focus on the cut. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Yep. That's exactly well, the second she switches targets. That's exactly what you want to do. Okay, now she doesn't even have a target. That was actually really bad from her. Because this, you should have gone after the seer there. Because he's dead on chair. So if you can get the seer dead, um, then she can use her teleport potentially. But now, Ac or sorry, seer and perfumer can get out the gate. This is just a tie. Wow, I can't believe that they're getting a tie from this. That's honestly really surprising. The geisha felt like she was cooking so hard, but I guess all the support paid off for the survivors. Huh. No drop down hit. She, he still has lots of bombs here. Hasn't he even used a bomb. Bomb now? Nah, the, se you gotta, the second you hear the butterfly, you probably just jump there, right? I mean, I get it. It's end game nerves and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's a tie. I don't know why they're just sitting there. Guys. Of course, they're gate waiting. <laughs> Please leave. Oh, wait. She's in a chair. Yo, she's just sitting there. She's literally just chilling out. Waiting for Geisha to cut guys. Come on. Go! Oh my gosh, get off your freaking lazy butt and get out of here. See her! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just leave, guys. It's a tie. What the heck was that? <laughs> for the next match, let's watch this uh Mitsuji Kamata sculptor here. Pretty fitting to watch here since this uh crossover did indeed just recently come back. Uh, but we have Sculptor here with Teleport is interesting. We've got Psychologist, Toy Merchant, Prisoner, and Acrobat. Rocking two different uh, Danganronpa crossover skins here. So let's see here. Who's going to be the first one to take the chase? It looks like it's going to be the Toy Merchant. They're kind of just sitting out. What? Oh, okay. Prisoner setting up a connection. Um, yep. Toy Merchant is taking the kite first. She sees the catapult. Did she break the catapult? Nope. Honestly, I would have breaking the catapult there. Already has the statues. Okay, she kind of trapped herself here. She's gonna have to vault. Okay, good work. Sculptor's gonna get a hit here. No, nope, it's attack speed sculptor. Ah, sculptor's attack speed, bro. Oh my gosh, dude. I said it in a live stream once. I think sculptor and Knight should swap attack speeds. Like honestly, I think they honestly should swap attack speeds. Okay, hold on. Kaka, kaka. Going over this way. Okay, now she breaks it. Yep, now she breaks it. All right. I thought Sculptor was definitely gonna take a hit there. Or sorry, Toy Merchant was, what the? Ooh, interesting. Okay, that is the, that's the kind of stuff that I can't do right now. I can't I can't do that stuff. I, I simply am just so bad at pallet mind games and like knowing exactly when to time the pallet. I just can't do it. Okay, so I think Toy Merchant 100% just gets on the tram here, right? 100%, yup, tram. Tram to waste time, tram to waste time. Yup, now she teleports, changes targets to prisoner. Yup, that's prisoner. Um. Yeah, you have to, you're forced to break that, though. You're forced to break that. That's the one annoying thing about Prisoner is, like, when you catch him off on his Cypher, you kind of have to, like, break his thing, which allows him to, like, transition a little bit. Um, which is why, like, Prisoner's, like, initial kite isn't really too bad because, like, he could get a little bit of time to transition outside of just his basic stun here. So, I feel really bad for the Sculptor. She's kind of getting memed on. She's only got a single chip hit here. But, yeah, Sculptor has just... Ah, uh, she's just... Wait, that's fast-breaking pallet speed. That is really fast-breaking pallet speed. Um, look at that. That's insanely fast. What the heck? Okay, gets a chip hit. Finally gets a basic hit. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness for this uh, sculptor here. Um, yeah, she just wants to get the last chip hit with the statue, but it's going to be kind of hard. She only has one statue to work with. Um, she just can find... Wait. Can find... Sp wait, she's... she's she She's in the same build as my freaking Nightwatch. The detention, teleport, and confined space. Interesting. 
Does Sculptor really run Confined Space? I feel like she... I, don't know, I feel like I mostly see Trump Card... Uh, blink Trump Card Detention. Confined Space is interesting, though. I won't lie. All right, finally gets the chip hit. There we go. Finally gets that chip hit. And now she can... Now she can uh, put Prisoner on a uh, chair here and maybe start, uh, start using some of the... Uh, First presence ability to start spamming some statues on somebody. Psychologist is in the area, but hiding it out here. Really smart. Really, really smart here. That way you don't have to instant rescue. You're forcing you're seeing tonight, so she probably thinks the Titus is coming from the acrobat now. Um going after the acrobat a little bit. Put an out. Yep, they get the backdoor rescue. Beautiful. Okay, survivors are playing really, really well. I can only feel bad for the sculptor though. Like she tries so hard and then she just keeps missing because her freaking attack speed, dude. If she had Nia's attack speed, I guarantee. Uh, the Toy Merchant would have been dead already, but her attack speed is just so freaking mid, dude. Uh, yup. Takes a chip hit on the prisoner. Can we get a chip hit here? Chip hit? Nope. Has one more sculptor. Uh, nope. Stun. And, yep, Psychologist body block. Okay. Good, good support from the Psychologist. Um, but she does go down to one more hit. Alright, now it's just up to prison. You honestly just break this, and then you should be able to get him, right? You should be able to get him here. Like, he has no stun. Okay, so unless you 360 and did like a little mind game there, there was nothing that you could have, uh, there was nothing you had to work with, so yeah, that was a down. Good work, good work. I, I think she can tie this. She can definitely tie this, because the thing is, as long as she doesn't teleport here, she can tie this. All she has to do is, oh, but the cypher. Oh, she's forcing Akira off the cypher, though. Okay, this is good. What you're doing here is you're using up your statues, um, and hopefully somebody just comes in for the rescue, right? If somebody can come in for the rescue, like, right now, which is happening... Okay, come on. You need you, what? What needs to happen here is she. Come on, get the. Okay, got the rescue. Got the no. The rescue has happened. Ah, uh, but the support though. The support. Oh, a chip hit though. A chip hit. But she has no more. She has no more sculptures. And the cypher's primed. Oh no. Oh no, dude. Oh no. She's leaving the prisoner. No, she's leaving the prisoner. Can she hit him? Wait, that was actually almost really small. Oh, firebombs. Downs the prisoner. All right, you just teleport. You can't teleport yet. Do you teleport? Do you teleport? Chair teleport? Chair teleport? You got it. You got to tell. If you can get the prisoner down, that's like super, super, super good. Super, super good. But yeah, only one person's there. Teleport, please. Teleport, please. Teleport, please. Oh. You missed. You missed. No. <laughs> you got to teleport. Please just teleport. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Come on. Come on. No, she's not there. Come on, come on, go, 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 go. No, they're getting the rescue. No, this better not be four escape, I swear. And he's hiding in, yep, he's hiding in, oh my gosh. He's hiding in the graveyard area to just stall for more time. This is three escape. But the cypher, hold on, the dungeon's actually also here. It's near a graveyard. There's a chance this is a four escape. I don't want to see the four escape, dude. Come on, Sculptor, please. Come on, one more chip hit, please. That's all you need. Combine statue. Boom, down he goes. Okay, but that that's... Yeah, that's... Uh, they're healing up, too. This this is... um. Wait, Prisoner still... No way. Prisoner still has tied. There's no way. There's no way they do this, right? There's no way they tied and then just... Dungeon. Yo, they're pushing for it. Why? Survivors are so freaking greedy, dude. Oh, my gosh. Just accept your three escape. You still want, you already won. They're emoting. Look at this. They already, you guys already won. You guys already won. I don't understand. Psychologist is here. Do they get backdoor from prisoner? Yeah, there's Tide. Stun, and they have Tide. Um, can he make it out though? Let's see. I think he's like, there's like 15 seconds. Yeah, I think however much is on detention is however much is on Tide. Can they make I actually don't know if they can make it. Hold on. I don't know. Oh, well, now they definitely can because she's going after the toy merchant now. Prisoner actually made it out. Yeah, he made it out with Tide. No way, bro. And Dungeon's here, but the toy merchant has no way to get out. She, she, she broke the thing. All she has to do is get one sculpt hit. Okay. She can make that. She can make that. She has no sculptures. Teleport, though. Teleport. Oh, my gosh. She has flywheel though, she has flywheel, flywheel. Okay, flywheel. She can crawl though, cause flywheel. She can crawl though, cause flywheel. She can crawl though, cause flywheel. Oh my gosh, it's four escape. No! No! Sculptor! 
Oh. Buff Sculptor. What was that, man? It's all because of her freaking attack speed, man. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, for the last match, let's see what this Hello Kitty Gardener can do. Pretty interested to see what she can go up against. What, what is that? Yo, what is that? Look at that little pet. That's cute. I want that. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. I like it. Alright, so we've got, uh, yeah, Gardener, Small Child, Painter, and Lucky Guy, uh, and Bloody Queen. So this is, okay, this, okay, high key. This is the kind of team I will run into in rank and be like, oh, this is a free win, right? This is a free win. All right, well, okay then. I, I run into this team and I see like, all right, this is a free win. You know, we got we got mostly low tiers out here. Um, like, this is a free win. But then like, they'll just clutch up. Beautiful, oh my gosh, that was really good. Bloody Queen like kind of predicted the page even coming out. She didn't, what I usually do is I, I react to when little girl drops the page and then move back. But I feel like uh, she just kind of knew beforehand. Oh, hold on now, the small child. She's kind of crazy though. Uh, Bloody Queen does indeed have blink. She has mirror back up, all right. Did she get a hit here? Yup. Dang. That was uh, like a 50 second kite. Not that good from the small child. Um, does have a paper to rebound with, but uh, yeah, she's uh, she's done so. All right, let's see. Lucky guy uh, got a perfume and an elbow pad, so no gun just yet. I don't know if any of them have tied. Lucky might have tied. I don't know where Lucky is though. Is he going for the rescue? Nope. Somebody got the rescue. Uh, that was, I was lucky. None of them have tied. Wait, oh, I guess Gardner could have tied. Lucky's chilling here. Trying to maybe potentially get a body block here with a perfume. But Blink is up. Lucky, you gotta use that perfume. You gotta try and use that perfume. Okay, here comes the mirror. Mirror, mirror. Nope. But we have Blink though. We have Blink. Oh, okay, hold on. That was good. That was good. I think I think the amount of time ran up so that uh, she could leech onto the lucky guy. So I, I, I guess that's something, but she has blink even with the god cutting out you that there's the blink but hits the lucky guy instead though hold on hits the lucky guy instead but she has mirror though small child are you done so walk towards her put down a page oh you should have walked back no you should have walked back oh my gosh now see that was smart to walk towards her put down a page but she had to walk back she had to walk back to avoid the hit from the uh the regular mary not the mirror mary two cyphers are done they're healing up lucky guy here yeah, Garner is in the area. The question is, does she have Tide though? Does she have Tide? I swear, Garner's always like run, do, run and do the emo, dude. I swear. I rarely ever see them walk just regularly. They are almost always, they're almost always using the emo. All right, bubble, 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 bubble. No, nope, not bubbling yet. Hold on. She's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. Bubble. Okay, there's bubble. Yep. Free rescue. Free rescue. Free rescue. Okay. Oh, almost gets a chair hit though. Try to get a body block. Oh, doesn't get a body block. No Tide. No Tide on this team. Oh my gosh. All right, well, the small child is donezo. Get in there, small child. Set back to the manor. But everybody is at full health. Lucky picked up a, a syringe. Still trying to search for some treasure chests, but um, Garner, you don't want to lead it. You don't want to lead him to Lucky. Oh no, she's leading him towards Lucky. What did he get? He got an elbow pad. He got an elbow pad. Okay, Lucky can go. He can still cook here. He can still cook. He has a double pad. He could potentially, uh... Oh, nope. She's kind of stuck. She can't hit the mirror. Uh, only one person is decoding, though. That's the painter. Painter still does have two paintings, so... There, there is something here. Um... Okay, that was actually really weird. <laughs> lucky perfume? Lucky perfume? Yo, you got a perfume, bro! Oh, he should have waited. Nah, he should have waited. He had, he had to... Per he, he, he has his perfume. He's just not using it. Elbow pad, elbow pad, elbow pad. Beautiful. Oh, you got an elbow pad, elbow pad. Elbow pad away, elbow pad away. Why isn't he using his items? I don't understand. You gotta elbow pad away, bro. You're gonna get hit. Okay. Drop pallet elbow pad. Drop pallet elbow pad. No? Yo, what? Hold on. Painter, memorize the face. Memorize the face. Hold on. She's swapping targets? Actually gets misses the flywheel. Oh my gosh. She has paintings ready. He can start painting. Oh my gosh. Opti to go for the paint. He's done so. Yup. He's done so. He can't put a painting down on that, uh. That regular body. Now Gardner's forced to come in for the rescue here again. Um, Lucky. He already he already got a syringe, so he can't heal again. I'm pretty sure. I think you can. Only, can you get one or two syringes? I forget. Oh, and it's basement. But it is a painter, so they can take their time with this rescue. 
That's the, that's the one good thing for the survivors here. They can take this take their time at the rescue. Um, and Painter even says, forget about saving, go for the tide. Are they instant rescuing? But they don't have tide. Oh, that was so smart! Yo! Wait, okay, Lucky heals though. He did heal with the syringe. That was so smart. Garner bubble? Garner bubble? Garner bubble? But did you see the Mary one for the drop down mirror hit? That was crazy. All right, using the bubble to at least avoid drop down hit. Beautiful, go, go, yeah. You avoid a drop down hit, that's, that's what's good, that's what's good. Now, you, okay, watch out for Blink, though. Oh, almost had it. That was scary, dude. Mary had, like, so many different bag of tricks there. Can we get the painting off, though? Painting, 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 painting. Put it down now, put it down now, quick, 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 put it down, put it down, quick. You have to put it down now. No, she's smart, though. Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. She tried to look away. Dude, this Mary's freaking good. Flywheel's up, nope. Not fly no flywheel's up. Can't you get the painter? Try to get the drop down hit again, potentially. All right, set us a painting here. Hold on, they can maybe do this. Lucky is on the last cipher. Oh, she's going to Lucky. Lucky, Lucky, it's at 73. Hold on. It's at 73. Painter has a painting ready. They can tie this. They can definitely tie this. All right, Lucky, honestly, what you do here is you perfume this hit here, and then you just finish it. Yep, yep. Finish it, finish it, finish it. Come on, Lucky, come on. Nope, it's prime now. Okay, force another hit. Boom. Yep, pop, and then run away with an elbow pad. Run away with an elbow pad. All right, wait, wait till she means dead elbow pad. Elbow pad, elbow pad. Bro, it's end game. You elbow pad. Elbow pad. Please, elbow pad. Elbow pad, Lucky, you have an elbow pad. Lucky, just use your elbow pad. It's a free escape from Mir. I don't understand. Oh, I don't understand. It's detention. When other time are you going to use it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, this, this was still a really good game, though. Hold on. This was still really good. She doesn't have teleport. Mirror's back up. She can mirror swap. Okay. Huh? Okay. She's trying to hit somebody here. Painter. Bubble, bubble. Not, not, not running time. Not running time. Gunner's done, so she's done, so she's done. Yep, she's done. And now they're heading They're heading back toward Lucky. Um. And does she have teleport? Yeah, teleport's up now. Uh-oh. Hold on. Wait a minute. But she got to keep going back and forth, though. If the painter, play, if the painter plays this smartly... Lucky has his elbow pad uh, still, too. Hold on. Painter's chilling here. Did you just drop painting? Run towards her, drop painting. Flywheels, beautiful. It all, it, it's going to depend on this painting here. I think it's all going to depend on this painting. Now she's going back. She's going back. But she still, she, has, she still has teleport, though. She still has teleport. Lucky's coming. Nah, hold on. This is too risky now. This is too risky. She sees Lucky. They want to get this, but like... Oh, it's so difficult. Dude, Mary's playing so well. I think Garner's just done so. She can't. They can't rescue. Mirror's up again, but this time... Nope. That's it. And now she teleports back. Yup, yeah, teleports back. He elbow pads towards it. No, that's it. That's it. Flywheels, though? Die Lucky's dead. Is the gate primed? Bubble, bubble, bubble. Bubble, there's the bubble. Nah, the gate surely has to be primed, right? She's trying to body block it. Oh my gosh, she's tr she's body blocking it. Well, they hold on. This if she has, that sounded so weird. All right, she's done. So, no, hold on. She's crazy, Gardner. Oh, oh, the mirror actually hit. Okay, paint herself heals though. I think Lucky's dead on chair though, right? <gasps> the perfect timing. It's a one escape. It's a one escape with the painter. Oh my gosh. Yo. What the heck? Now get in there, Gardener. Yep, she's done so. Lucky's done so. It's a one escape. Wow. That was good. That was a good game. They all played well. I think if Lucky got, like, used his elbow pad earlier, though, or even just, if he had a flare gun, I'm not, if a flare gun, that was so free. He perfumes. Um, I, I actually don't know why he doesn't get a flare gun. I have no idea why he didn't get a flare gun. Most luckies will get a flare gun, like at least at some point in the match. Uh, maybe he tried and just didn't get it though. I don't know why Payne is just the gate waiting. Bro, never gateway against a Mary. What are you doing? What is he doing? Like actually. Wait, what what is he doing? Hold on, let me see. Don't why are you gate waiting? I don't understand, bro. Alright, yeah, just get out of here, bro. Just get out of here. <laughs> All right, well, that was a good game, though. That was a good freaking game. It's always so fun to watch Spectate the Pros and watch people that can actually play the game, unlike me. <laughs> Before we end off, this still has a red thing on it. Does there anything happen here? Oh, Bonbon's here. Hey, Bonbon. 
Bob, 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 Bob. I can't believe the first tender forgot to get the hot pot ingredients ready. I can't run it that go. Bob, 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 Bob. Look, the plaza market sells absolutely everything. If there's anything we still need, we can get it in now. Bob, 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 Bob. If the stove doesn't have enough steam for your old tea snacks, come follow me. I can breathe fire. You let what? He can breathe fire? Since when can Bon Bon do that? That's crazy. Hi, Wu Chang. What's up? The previous shopkeeper and the troop master are old acquaintances. Looking through the old antique shop ledger is really a singular experience. If you can find true friendship in a good tea house where you can discuss everything, then you'll never have reason to say that you have nothing to live for. I just want to see if there's any like bonus content. It looks like there was just some extra dialogue there. Anyway, sorry for the weird ending, everybody. That's going to be it for sure this time. I'll see you later. I hope you have a great rest of your day, everybody. Bye-bye.